What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling exceptional today. And I'll tell you why I'm so pumped in a minute. But for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, Welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And a do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one, -one, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me, never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. So, Cancer, the moon is going void of course today. And with the moon, um, the moon with the, the moon is going to go void of course at 4, 4.09 in the morning, pretty early one, and that's going to be central time. And she'll be moving from Aries into Taurus at about 7.27 in the morning. So we're looking at about a 3 hour and 18 minute um, void of course time there, Cancer. And with this energy, this is a great time for just doing some, doing some self-care, doing some introspective work, some meditation, really kind of recharging your batteries, Cancer, you know, because the moon's doing a lot, feeling a lot, you know, dealing with a lot of energies, and we deal with a lot of energies, Cancer. So, you know, really just take this time and just journey within, make sure that your, that your energies are doing well, okay? And then also, you may notice that your plans may be subject to unexpected changes, and then also that people may be less likely to make decisions during this time so something just to think about here cancer but it's fine because guess what then with the moon being in taurus this is really really enjoy this energy the next uh, couple of days here cancer because one the moon is exalted in taurus and with you know taurus their ruler being venus you know their dispositor venus is in our sign so the energies it's like they they're like they're like sleeping over at each other's houses for the weekend it's like we've exchanged it's the energies are just harmonious oh and when the moon's in cancer just forget about it <laughs> but I'm getting off track. But this is going to be wonderful energy, Cancer, to take care of yourself. You know, do any sort of like, if you've been wanting to do any kind of stuff around the house, if you've been wanting to do any kind of make a spa day, go get a massage, maybe go to go for a, a, a trip, go camping, hiking, do things to please the senses, Cancer. You know, maybe if you live in the city, maybe getting out to somewhere kind of quiet, serene, really enjoy this energy this is a real good time for self-care and and and, and 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 couple that i mean that's just taurus energy alone but then you couple that with this waning crescent energy which is all about that as well you know self-care doing some deep breathing you know reconnecting with your inner self releasing control to the universe and just Shine, shine inward, Cancer, and just relax and recuperate. Think about what you want to get started up for this next cycle. Do some creative work, Cancer. Venus is a very, very artistic sign. Now, she's not just a planet of just, you know, just about being beautiful. She's about creating beauty as well, Cancer. You know, beautify your world, you know, this all around you, Cancer. Work with this energy. And then last couple of things. These readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested there, Cancer. Ah, I dig it, Cancer. You got the eighth card of Gemini's here, which is the Wheel of Karma. And with this card, this is a card of karma, dharma, destined, inevitable, cause and effect, divine intervention, cycles, luck, fortune, rise and fall, circumstances, consequences, divine will, and blind justice. And with this card, Cancer, 
this is great energy to meditate on, to really think about what to reflect on this last cycle, what has gone down, how have you grown, what areas do you want to refine and improve on. Think about all the ways that you're lucky and fortunate and, and, and appreciate the rises and falls of life, you know, how the things wax and wane because that's all part of the journey. You know, And really think about too, Cancer. I like that it talks about this cause and effect. Think about what effects you want to, you if you want more beauty in your life, more art, more ch times to maybe indulge in your hobbies and things. You know, how do we, what cause, what do we, what, what things do we need to cause to get that energy to get moving, you know? And, and I like this too, you know, how we were talking about with the waning crescent about like, kind of like surrendering to the universe. This is, remembering that you know when we're doing these things you know that helps higher self you know or however we connect to the source you know to to bring this beauty without you know to when we when we start channeling our energy towards higher vibrations and really starts you know see you know operating from a from a higher perspective and just keep growing every every day you know just keep 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 a you know growing through those cycles it's it's amazing just even thinking with Gemini, you know, just amazing what you can learn about yourself. And you know what, with Gemini season coming up here in the, you know, in the next few days, you know, be, be thinking about this, Cancer. The energy is going to be, be, be just really active. Your mind's going to be, you know, going wild. So be, it's, it's going to be a wonderful time, Cancer. But we got a lot of, we're in an interesting cycle, this, I feel like this year, this whole time is going to be a lot of, a, a lot of doing some internal work here, just like, you, you know, but like, it, it's going to be a lot of that. I feel like a lot of introspecting, introspection and asking these really big questions, you know, what is next, you know, seeing what, how we've added value to our life and how we can establish more security. So let's see how we can work with this wheel, Cancer. Let's see where we're, where we're driving this chariot. I like that, Cancer. Wow, that's dope. You got the two of wands and then you got the three of wands, Cancer. So that's basically what this is asking. This is like, hey, we're, we're, at, we're at a crossroads here. You know, where do we want to go next? What do you want to invest in? And where do we, how do we, how do we want to expand? You know, because that's what, I, I love that, Cancer, because this is Mars and Aries and this is the Sun in Aries. And I feel like when we find that thing that fuels us, you know, that Mars energy, then we get to that sunshine. And you know what? Mars is um, going to be moving into Leo here on the 20th of this month, depending on when you're watching it, of May. And this is a great time to be thinking about any sort of creative pursuits that you want to do. And, and, and seeing how that grows, Cancer, you know, really work with these energies. The, you, when you when you really kind of pay, kind of pay attention to how these how things have been lining up here lately there's a big there's a big shift that's happening cancer energetically i've been doing like the the planetary readings it's 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 been very very but i and i don't mean big and just like oh my goodness no i mean like oh my goodness <laughs> this is going to be fa like beauty art you know all of those things so be thinking expansive cancer be thinking what's what what do what do you want to bring in this perfect energy i i, I love this more let's see what else we got cancer Yeah, I love the two of wands. That's like you really are the cause. You know, you can create whatever. That's that's a that's like what Aries like strongest minor arcana card. That's a I really like that one. Let's see what else we got here. I love it, Cancer. Queen of Swords, and then you got the Nine of Swords. And so when we're thinking about this stuff, Cancer, just with the Nine of Swords, you see how, how in, in, in intensely this owl is, is kind of studying? We want to be mindful of getting caught up in our heads. You know, when we think about these big things, sometimes it can be overwhelming. It can get to where we can feel some kind of pressure, you know, where it's not, you know, you know what I mean? But what we want to do with this owl, because the the owl is very wise, you know, we do want to learn about ourselves. You know, I do think we, we can shift the focus instead of fo like focusing on how 
how there may be, you know, we're getting caught up in the echo chamber of like doom and gloom and things. It's just like, okay, there's all this going on. How can we counteract that? How can we bring balance? The Queen of Swords, this is Libra's card. She rules the first two deacons of Libra and the last of Virgos. And that's, and that's beautiful, Cancer, when you think about that combination, because Libra is about partnerships and Virgo, one of their aspects is, is a being of sign of service and then getting in that routine. So, you know, this is something where you can really bring some kind of change, Cancer, whether this be on a personal level or this or, or bigger, but it's going to be, one, be mindful of where your head's at, you know, what we're telling ourselves, and if there are things that are causing us any sort of nightmares or, you know, really kind of been plaguing us as of late, get eyes on that. Don't, don't ignore that, Cancer. Get yourself back in balance, you know, work with these lunar cycles. Let's, let's, let's tackle this stuff and be patient, be kind with yourself, be compassionate, and, 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 you know, like when we talk about the Nine of Swords, the nine, this one is, oh man, it's, it's escaping me at the moment. This is Jupiter in Gemini. And when, oh no, excuse me, this one is uh, Mars in Gemini. And if we're telling ourselves things that are, are, are hindering our momentum, you know what I mean, affecting our action, just make sure that we're changing the narrative up, that we just don't get caught up in those, those that kind of wheel cancer. You don't want to get caught up in a spiral and then get stuck in a cycle, you know, and just, you know, because, and then listen, if it, it, it happens from time to time, and that's not to say that it's going to affect your abundance. What is meant for you will be out there is just it, how it may be presented, might be a little different than was intended, but you always get what was meant for you cancer but believe that more all right cancer let's see what are be going to be some challenges working with this energy oh, i love it hubby showed up <laughs> all right cancer let's see what we got here I love it. Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands, we have the King of Swords, and then we have the Three of Cups here, Cancer. And I feel like some challenges. Just thinking with the, the King and Queen of Swords, you know, not that, they, that, that they're combative, but sometimes when they get caught up in their head, that, that, that can be where it can get in the way of the growth when we spiral. You know what I mean, Cancer? We just want to be, I feel like the conflict, you know, don't let our heads, you know, get us get cut, getting stuck in our head, prevent us from getting wisdom, from understanding that whatever we, whatever we put our energy into, you know, if it's raising our vibration, then that's going to be the outcome. And yes, there are going to be challenges along the way, but we just remind ourselves that we're growing in this, you know, that every, every time that we, we, we wake up and that we're, we're putting, you know, one foot in front of the other, we're persevering and, you know, showing that tenacity, that's worthy of celebration. And make sure you pat yourself on the back, Cancer, and give yourself some words of affirmation when you wake up and when you go to bed and let you know, let you just remind yourself of how fantastic you are in that you showed up and showed out but you know the one thing too cancer when with this energy you know the the knight of wands when we think about him in conflict you know we can be a matter of confidence you know believing because this is leo energy he rules first two deacons of leo and then the last of our sign cancer and when he's not feeling confident then it, it, it can get in the way of his intuition you know his then his feelings get 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 a little blurred there and then we get in our head and then you know, spiral so we really want to I feel like when the when the night when it comes to the Knight of Wands and we think about what we want to do in life, you know, whether that be start up a hobby, a side hustle, whatever, cancer, you know, a relationship. What is our heart telling us? You know, because the Knight of Wands, Leo energy is very much heart driven. And I mean, cancer, we're, we're driven by our emotions. You know, we're a very sensitive sign. We're sensitive to the energy. So when we're feeling lost, what better place than to journey within and ask yourself, what is calling you? What, what, what feels right? Where, where, where is higher self trying to guide me? You know, this is Mercury in Cancer right here. Connect with that inner Cancerian energy of you. And and I find when you do there's you'll find all the answers, you know, you're celebrating. Huh, I love the, that they're having like tea on the back of this turtle. Have tea with yourself, Cancer. You know, whatever that, whatever this is, is looking like. I love that. <laughs> Have a little party. More. All right, Cancer, let's get some advice from Venus. Oh, 
I love it, Cancer D. The energy is hot. Hold on. I, I don't even know. Hold on. More? Okay, we're going to get some more Cancer. But you know, her advice is to channel your inner empress there, Cancer. Go on out there and work on yourself. Get in your highest vibration. Go ahead and... You, it's going to be some work, Cancer. Yes. But she, that don't mean you don't have to look great while you're doing it. Because look at her. She's getting down and dirty, but she's in her best dress. Look, look at that little flower head. I love that. I love, this might be my favorite Empress, Cancer. <laughs> but, and you should be your favorite, can, uh, favorite Empress, Cancer. <laughs> make, that, make that a point. But also, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting caught up in the self-care energy. Also, Cancer. When we're thinking about, you know, what, what abundance looks like for us. You know, this looks like, you know, fortune, luck, all of that. It, it looks differently for everyone, you know, and don't, I feel like one thing to be mindful of when we think about what we want to do next, re, set, making sure that we're separating. I feel like we think about this two of wands, make sure that we're separating or differentiating between what society deems as success, as fortunate, as luck and things, and what you deem as fortunate, abundant, things along those lines. Because the Empress don't, don't care about what, what Queen of Swords is doing, what King of Swords is doing, what Knight of Wands is doing, and, and in terms of how they go about getting their abundance. She'll rock with them, but as far as how they go about getting it, she's not gonna judge that. She has her own goals. They, he likes exploring the cave, he's in the woods, she's chilling in the nest, and she's He's working in the garden, but everyone is working towards that that end that's you know that same end goal, raising their vibration to their highest octave, you know, Cancer. So and the best way to do get into that Empress energy is to do things that make you feel abundant. You know, whether that's doing doing these creative hobbies that we're talking about while Venus is still in Cancer. So you got we got uh, quite a bit. I think she's in there till the, the beginning of June. So take this, take the, and especially to Cancer with, with Jupiter moving into with, to Taurus as well. This can be a great time for just really investing in yourself. Long term investment, you know, thinking about cause and effect. Think Put that out there in the in in the regular matrix or in the regular matrix, and it'll get picked up in the divine matrix and translated into abundance. So that was brilliant, candles. You're like seriously, <laughs> fantastic. And this is what I mean, Cancer. The energies are 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 ripe right now. This is. We're in an auspicious time. Wow, look at that. The star card, potential cancer. Every hold on, oh do you see that? Let's let's switch back over. Cause I, I love this star card too. This whole this deck, I almost wanted to keep take it for another lunar cycle, but we're gonna give it a break. But the star card. You see I every all the animals here are gathered to see you, Empress. They are here to see what what beauty you want to bring to the world, What how this cycle is going to look. Because here's the thing, Cancer, there's there's a lot of change that's going to be happening. We the cycles are shifting, and I do feel that something beautiful, Empress level stuff can happen. But we got to let that light shine, Cancer. You know, there's the after all of, all of the shifts and things, the world could use some healing. You know, could use some empresses to inspire other people to get in their energy. You know, to get to start cooking up their own ideas here and be thinking about that too, Cancer. You know, let's while we're doing this stuff, this these this this whatever thing that you want to do, we can broaden this out and start you know collaborating. You know, hit up a you know King of Swords, Queen of Swords. You know, start brainstorming some things. And you know, this does doesn't just have to be for like a job. This can be for for a hobby. Maybe you want to start a band. Maybe you, you want to do like again like a community um, or uh, maybe you want to do like a community service uh, type of thing. You know, maybe doing like a beach cleanup or like a neighborhood cleanup. You know, go clean up old uh, Knight of Wands or go get a go touch up Knight of Wands fence or you know help Queen of Swords. You know, do something with the with the gutters. I don't know, Cancer, but. Just be thinking about that. Well, you know what? What abundance do you want to bring into into the mix here? And take take this next year. You know, just thinking. This the wheel of karma is not necessarily Jupiter, but 
Jupiter will be going into Gemini next year, but this is a time to be thinking about that long-term investment so that when that next time comes around, now we're sharing that stuff and then we get to have fun. So, all right, Cancer, I think I'm going to leave that there. That was fantastic. Great. Just energies have been just lovely. So give this a thumbs up if you know if anything resonates with you and, and share this, Cancer. You know, let, let, let others, you know, get in their Empress energy because the Moon, Venus, they want us to just be feeling good. Don't you? Because that was brilliant, Cancer. And thank you for bringing that energy. I, I'm, I'm with it. And then tell all these empresses to subscribe, hit that bell button, you'll get notified when I release videos. I feel like this happens quite a bit when Venus shows out. But, um, also, I'm on this meditation app, Insight Timer, and I've been, I created a group on there called Zodiacs Raising the Vibration. And it's just a group to drop like positive affirmations, uplifting things, you know, anything, you know, share your, huh, share, share your story like this out here, you know, talk about how you've, what, how, what ways that you've been bringing abundance into the, into your, into even just your personal world or out to the community cancer. It doesn't matter. Any ways that you're raising the vibration, you know, I'm all about it. And then, you know, as the group grows, the Empress and I, we're about to do, I, I think it's in the, the, like when you, when you join the group, it's like definitely when we get enough people in there, we're going to do some self, self care with the Empress or maybe manifesting abundance with the queen of, with the queen of coin. I got all kinds of stuff here, cancer. So Come on over to that and all that information is in the description box. And then lastly, you know how I feel about checking your chart, Cancer. I got apps in the description box, the ones that I like using as well. But check your sun, your moon, your rise, and all you need is your date of birth, time of birth, and place of birth. And then, because who knows, you, you maybe have Venus and Cancer. And I tell you, Cancer, my mom has Venus and Cancer. It's a lovely placement. But um, come on over to my other channel, Alchemist State. I do weekly videos there. It's a good old thing. We definitely geek out when the Empress comes out. I mean, for her and I, we just, we, we, it's something. All that housekeeping answer down in the description box below. Let me, girl, we got to stop doing this. Oh, all right, Cancer. I like this. Because you got the, got the Ten of Wands here. And with the Ten of Wands, while I'm, while I'm, talk about that while I'm shuffling your, for your Oracle cards. The Ten of Wands. This can, I feel like with, with this in particular, normally this card can be a card of burdens, sure. But I feel like this is more so saying that this is the work that you see. Okay, hold on. I'm going to shuffle here in a second. The Empress is putting in work. You know, it's not like, I feel like most Empresses, they always convey her as just kind of sitting pretty, you know, that it, the abundance is just, just going to come to her, that she just, you know, all she has to do is wait. No, the Empress puts in work. You know, life is, you know, we got to go out there and get, get that wheel a turning. She's it's just like sitting on a million dollar lottery ticket, but not cashing it. The Empress knows that she's got to invest in this thing, you know, make this money work for her, make her abundance work for her. What, and whatever that looks like, you need abundance of spirituality, abundance of mental clarity, whatever, Cancer. But it, it's it's not going to always be easy, but that's the point. When you when we're working on Empress goals, Cancer, we got to put in Empress work, but it's going to be worth it because you'll be able to, and that's what this whole energy when Pluto's entering into Capricorn on the 11th of June, that's what Pluto and Capricorn's all about. And we can learn a lot from our opposite, Cancer. There, Capricorn is the opposite of our sign. This is a great time. This year, think about what do you look like in your Empress energy? What, what does that, how do you want want to what would make you what would you know what could you could you invest in in yourself that when you look back in a year you know or, or however long that you can be proud of this thing and feel confident and look good knowing that you put in this work and feel great you know like that's what this energy is all all happening here cause and effect you know all day but let me get your um i love that that's a nice little end in there cancer but let me get your uh let me get your other oracle card here. Okay. I absolutely. You got the blue lotus here, which this is ruled by the sun and the moon. And I like that because, you know, this is a card of intuition. In Cancer, 
our intuition is strong. You know, you are, you're a sensitive sign wherever you have cancer placements. And you re remember that. The Empress, the Empress is hella intuitive. She's a culmination of all of the queens. And you know, all the queens are super intuitive. And that includes, you know, the queens, concludes the Queen of Cups. That's our card, Cancer. So listen to your intuition, discover your potential. And, and, and then be ready to put in some work, but, you know, have fun while you're doing it. Cancer Mars is going to be entering into Leo here. Enjoy yourself. It doesn't just have to be arduous work. This can be rewarding work. You know, it's going to be, we gonna, might need to do a little hustling. But, man, your game going to be, your emperor's game going to be strong. So, <laughs> I'm with it, Cancer. You get out there, you pimp. <laughs> you, you stay safe out there. You keep eyes on the moon because you see how she's got our back here. She's just really just always setting us up for success there, Cancer. And I will catch you on the next one tomorrow.